A criminal investigation involving bars of gold bullion and a halal monopoly that could dramatically alter the political playing field in New Jersey and Washington. All that and more now on Graps Grievances. In November of 2017, New Jersey's senior senator, Democrat Bob Menendez, narrowly avoided a federal bribery conviction after his corruption trial ended with a hung jury. Menendez was charged with trading political favors in exchange for more than $600,000 in campaign contributions, a luxurious hotel suite in Paris, and free rides on a private jet from a wealthy ophthalmologist. The jurors' inability to reach a verdict emboldening Menendez, who declared after the trial, quote, to those who were digging my political grave so they could jump into my seat, I know who you are, and I won't forget you. And shortly thereafter, Menendez announced his re-election campaign and went on to win a third term in the U.S. Senate, defeating his Republican challenger by almost 12 points. So by early 2019, things were looking pretty good for Senator Menendez. He had not only defeated the biggest challenge to his nearly 50-year political career, but had regained his post of, as chairman of the extremely powerful Senate Foreign Relations Committee. But beneath the surface, more trouble was brewing for one of the highest-ranking Hispanic leaders in the nation. In October of 2022, an advisor confirmed that Menendez was facing another federal criminal investigation. Prosecutors and the FBI reportedly probing whether Menendez or his wife received gifts of a luxury car and an apartment in Washington in exchange for political favors. The investigation reportedly centering on the couple's connection to Walhana, the owner of a New Jersey-based halal meat exporter. In 2020, the startup company became the sole entity authorized to certify that any halal food product imported into Egypt from anywhere in the entire world had been prepared according to Islamic law. Before 2019, four companies in the U.S. were authorized to do such work. And while the decision to give authorization solely to one company that had never before certified meat did not require the approval of the U.S., the abrupt move coincided with steep new fees for certification. Investigators reportedly probing what, if any, role Menendez played in the decision by Egypt and whether he or his wife received lavish gifts from the company that now has an exclusive worldwide contract to certify halal imports into Egypt. Menendez and the company's owners have denied any wrongdoing. Numerous sources tell NBC News that Menendez's wife is friends with the owners of the New Jersey-based halal meat exporter in question. And of course, Menendez oversees billions of dollars in U.S. aid to Egypt as chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Also raising eyebrows, an amended March 2022 disclosure report filed by Menendez in which he added a curious asset belonging to his wife. Gold bullion bars worth up to a quarter of a million dollars. Miss Menendez does not come from wealth and experienced years of financial uncertainty and even faced foreclosure after divorcing her first husband in 2005. According to the New York Times, since January, the senator's campaign has spent almost $300,000 in connection with the investigation and last month created a new defense fund to avoid further draining his political accounts. Of course, all of this comes as Menendez faces re-election next year. And while it is totally possible that Menendez has done nothing wrong and did not accept gifts or favors in exchange for official acts, this all looks terribly concerning. Remember, it was only six years ago that Menendez's first federal corruption trial ended with a deadlocked jury. And with Republicans continuing to embrace a lawless, twice-impeached, twice-indicted former president 
morality and upholding the rule of law is now more on the ballot than ever before. Democrats need to show in every race that they are the party standing up for strong ethics and integrity. Allowing Senator Menendez to stay on the ballot and continue to run as a Democrat is antithetical to everything the party must and should stand for. Someone in the Democratic Party from the great state of New Jersey needs to have the courage to take him on. Thanks for watching Drafts Grievances. Let me know what you think and please subscribe.